What is going on guys? Grave here today. I'm going to talk about some of the issues that are going on right now on console after update 33. And these are some issues that seem to be kind of tied to particular platforms. I did make a video yesterday talking about global known issues that the developers expected to see on all console platforms after yesterday's update. So if you have not seen that, I will pop it up in the top corner right now. But it seems since yesterday, Xbox Series S and X are having some big issues. Now, personally, I play on PS5. And so far, so good. I have not really had any issues whatsoever. The game has been playing really smooth, which is kind of odd, not what I was expecting. But it seems like on the Xbox Series S and X side that the load times are really long pretty much all the time. We were supposed to have long load times the first time we logged in just to make sure, you know, all the trophies and achievements and everything caught up. So it was a little bit of a longer load time there. For me on PS5, it was actually really quick. I was kind of surprised at that. But it seems like on Xbox Series S and X, the load times are kind of just permanently long. They're not going away. It seems like every time players are logging in or out or changing characters, those load times are extremely long for most of the player base. Now, I'm sure there's some players out there that may not be having this issue. Also, I've seen a lot of Xbox Series S and X players talking about whenever they go to the guild trader, it is really slow to pull up, really slow to pull up the information for what they're looking for, or it just will not work at all. Also, reports on Xbox Series S and X of Battlegrounds crashing a lot. As soon as they load into a Battlegrounds match, it would crash. I used to have this issue on PS4. I've not had that issue on PS5 so far, but it seems to be kind of creeping back into the game on the Xbox side. Also, long load times uh, for you know player housing on the Xbox Series S and X side. So I'm curious if you guys play on Xbox Series S or X, leave me a comment and let me know if you're having these problems. Because like I said, as of yesterday, I have not played any today yet. Everything was running really smoothly on PS5. I was really shocked. The only problem I've had on PS5 is the game seems to be really dark compared to what it used to be. A lot of players report were, uh, were reporting that their brightness settings were resetting, uh, you know, if they close the game and open it back up or if they change characters or whatever the case may be. And I tested that theory on my end anyway, and it might be happening to some, but if I close the game, change characters, my brightness settings stayed the same but the game still seemed really dark compared to what it was before the update. Now, my brightness settings are a little past halfway the halfway point on the bar. I do play on an LG gaming monitor, and I do have a bright backlight on that monitor. So the game was never too dark to me like it would be for some players, maybe on a different type monitor or TV or whatever the case may be. But I can say as of yesterday's update, the game colors seem to be really dark now compared to what they were before update 33 was released. So... Hopefully, Zoss will kind of give us some information about this. They did say yesterday, when I, when I made that video, I, I did talk about how in those notes, they did say there were some small issues they didn't mention uh, kind of in those notes that could be problems. That could be kind of what's going on here, uh, some of the problems we're seeing. Like I said, leave me a comment and let me know if you're on Xbox, if you're having these problems. I know old gen may be having some issues as well. I know old gen uh, consoles, low times are extremely long anyway. But I just kind of thought it was strange that Xbox Series S and X are having a lot of problems compared to the PS5 side. Now, let me know if you're having any problems on the PS5, uh, PS5 or the PS4 side as well. But I've not really seen a lot of reports of that. Everything I've been seeing has been mainly on the new gen Xbox side. So leave me a comment with your thoughts. Let me know what you think. And also let me know what you think about Update 33. And of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you hadn't subscribed yet, please do so. Be sure to check out everything down in the description, the community discord, my Twitter, and of course the affiliate here on the channel, Empire Jerky. Also check out the merch store that is linked in the description as well. And if you would like to join the ESO Guild here on PlayStation, leave me a comment with your gamer tag and I will get that sent over as quickly as possible. I'll catch you all next time. Peace.